Hello viewers, today we are going to show you a unique build that consists of two ASUS TRIG RTX 3090 Ti GPUs. This build is unique because it's very difficult to fit two 3090 Ti in a single casing because of their massive sizes. But it gets more difficult when they are ASUS TRIG GPUs because ASUS overclocked those GPUs so I had to use liquid cooler. The liquid cooler has a radiator and two fans which also takes a massive amount of space. The purpose of building this rig for our for train our machine learning model. For that we needed a large amount of memory. So that that's why we had to buy two 2900 TIs which amounts to 48 GB RAM. At the end of the video we will discuss about how much throughput we, we, we achieved through this GPU. Also what is what was the maximum number of batch sizes and training size and also what model we trained with this GPU. So stay tuned and let's start the building. For casing, we have chosen Lionly 011 Dynamic XL ROG certified casing. This is a huge casing which uh, weighs about 14 kgs or 31 pounds. We, uh, we needed this because we need to fit two 3090 Ti ASUS Trix GPUs alongside with two power supplies because those GPUs TDP, uh, each of them has TDP of uh, 900 watts. So we had to use two power supplies uh, to support this. We have used three RGB Lionly fans. They are quite silent and very popular as well. Uh, we have uh, placed them uh, at the bottom of the casing. They are very easy to fit with each other. You just have to attach them together and they will they'll stick. We have used Asus Pro Art Z690 Creator Wi-Fi 12th generation ATX motherboard. It's packed with tons of notable elements like PCI 5, DDR5, DDR5 support and Thunderbolt 4 to name a few. For processor, we have used Intel i9-12900K 12, processor. Uh, it has 16 cores and uh, max turbo frequency 5.2 GHz. Its base frequency is 3.2 GHz. Also, uh, it's, uh, it, it has 30 MB Intel Smart Cache. Also, the L2 cache size is 14 MB, which is quite good. For SSD, we, we have used T4's Cardia Z44Q2TB SSD. It has a uh, very good rewriting speed which is about 5000 read uh, MB per second for reading and 3700 MB per second for writing. We have added 32 GB RAMs. Uh, there are two 16 GB Corsair DDR5 RAMs. Uh, they have uh, 4800 48, megahertz frequency which is quite good We have used MSI Mac Core Liquid 360 R AIO CPU cooler. It's, it's a very cool looking uh, uh, CPU cooler. The CPU block is equipped with an MSI Dragon logo. The Dragon logo is illuminated by addressable RGB lighting. Also, the top cover can be rotated to 270 degrees. Uh, this will allow you to rotate the MSI Dragon logo to face the correct direction orientation no matter how you uh, how in which position the cpu block is installed in the socket it has a three phase motor driving the pump with a maximum speed of 4 to 4 to 200 rpm 
also there are three fans the 12 mm dual ball bearing fans that have a speed range of 500 to 2000 rpm for thermal paste we have used thermal grizzly cryonaut it's a mildly viscous thermal compound with good stability uh, this paste is very easy to apply and clean up making it favorite among system builders Now to the main attraction of the build, Dual 3090Ti GPUs. We love these GPUs because before that we uh, trained our model in, in Sunday servers the, which, which was very expensive and we didn't have enough independence for debugging and par such. For our purpose, the perfect card would have been uh, NVIDIA A100 GPU of 40 GB RAM but right now it's uh, listed as a $10,000 price car card with two 3900 TIs we spent $3,400 only also even with almost 900 watt TDP this card is a bargain now we can debug and, in and customize our model with ease now let us see how we solved the problem of putting two 3900 TIs with radiators in the, in the single casing let's start putting those two gpus in the pci slot first we are left with placement for only one radiator we didn't have any place for the the other one we placed one radiator in the left side of the uh, casing where there is enough there is an enough space for putting three fans so there we put one radiator for the other radiator we had to hang it in the front of the casing just like in the video uh, we used nylon zip ties to hang the GPU at, from the top of the casing. We used additional zip ties to attach the radiator with the left and right panel and the bottom pan of the casing. We could not place the cover of the left and the top of the casing. The radiator cables of the GPUs are very thick. If we close the cover of the left side of the casing, both radiator cables get smashed up and this may hamper the liquid cooling system of the radiator. We could not also close the front side of the cover of the casing because of the zip ties. For power supply, we had to use two units of it. The TDP of the GPUs are uh, 900 watt, uh, so two GPUs should uh, maximum uh, take 1800 watt of power plus some power for the CPU. So we had to use at least 2000 watt power supplies, but we couldn't find anywhere this amount, this power supply with this amount of power. So we used two power supplies. One uh, is Cooler Master MWE Gold 1250 watt full modular power supply and another is asus rog strix 1000 watt power supply Now let's talk about the training performance of the GPUs. As we can see that we have utilized almost all the VRAMs of the GPUs and core usage is also close to 100%. Power consumption rises up to 350 watts. Also the temperature also we have seen uh, rises as far as 60 degrees centigrade. Our training data set size was 380 GB. We can load up to 16 batch sizes on each GPU, so 32 batch size on total. And uh, it takes about 4 hours to complete an epoch. If we turn on the air conditioning on the room, then the temperature drops down to 52 or 50 degrees centigrade. 
also there were interruptions in our training uh, because of power failure and some other events so maybe the power consumption may rise above 60 degree if we continue to train we could uh, train continuously like uh, two days maximum i guess another observation about power consumption is that we don't really need two power supplies because m maximum 350 watts of power consumption so on each gpu for both gpu it will be uh, 700 watts and so we guess that 1250 watt power supply is more than enough